On the morning of 14th of November, Northern Australia and Cairns will be treated to a total solar eclipse. The eclipse will begin at 6.43 Australia time and will be at maximum eclipse at 7.31 am. A solar eclipse occurs when the disk of the moon passes in front of the sun, blocking out the sunlight, casting a shadow on the earth. It will take approximately three quarters of an hour for the disk of the moon to pass completely in front of the sun, leaving the sun totally eclipsed and leaving the corona of the sun visible to the naked eye. This phase of the eclipse where the sun's corona or atmosphere is visible will last about two minutes. During this time, viewers in Cairns watching the total eclipse will be able to safely view the sun with their eye protection as long as the disk of the moon is completely over the sun. By this time, viewers in New Zealand will be able to clearly see the disk of the moon passing across the disk of the sun. Because of the rotation of the earth by this time and the relative angle to the sun and the moon, the second phase of the eclipse will actually take longer than the first half. Maximum eclipse as seen from Tauranga, New Zealand will be at around about 10.30 am. At this point the sun will be about 85% obscured. It will take about an hour and a quarter for the disk of the moon to move completely off the face of the sun after the point of maximum eclipse as seen from New Zealand. Although the moon is 400 times smaller than the diameter of the sun, it is also on average about 400 times closer. This means that the apparent size of the disk of the sun and the disk of the moon are almost identical. Total eclipses of the sun in a particular area are rare. There has not been a total eclipse seen from mainland Australia since the South Australian eclipse of 4th of December 2002. The next total solar eclipse of the sun to be seen from mainland Australia will be on the 22nd of July 2028. Here is the path that the shadow of the moon will take as it crosses the Pacific during the eclipse on the 14th of November.